Can you hear me? I don't, it doesn't sound right to me. Turn me up, please. <laughs> Turn me up. Okay, well, I want to thank you for the invitation to participate in this. Um, it's a real opportunity for me. Among other things, because the main thing is I want to thank you all for being math teachers. Uh, I have a son in public school in Baltimore City, and I just personally am grateful for the work you do. Um, and I wanted to thank you, and you know, I think the job you do is the most important job in the country. And I'm sure that your salaries reflect that. <laughs> um, so I reviewed, uh, I reviewed drafts as they write them for these national standards, common core standards, whatever you want to call them. And I reviewed them also for the Fordham Foundation. I gave them a B, which in the world of great inflation, you don't know how to interpret that. Uh, it's actually a for, pretty from good From you, Steve, that's high. <laughs> it's a pretty good grade. Uh, I getting, I'm getting a lot of flack from my colleagues in mathematics for giving such a high grade because uh, the, the, the standards are not STEM-ready standards. But what they did do is they focused on college readiness. They focused on minimal college readiness. And I graded them on that basis, and I thought they kept their eye on college readiness in a way that most state standards don't do. Uh, so I think much of the success of these standards is going to depend on how they back map them, and they're also going to forward map them to cover STEM ready. And I think we have to really wait and see how good they turn out. Uh, so much depends on the back mapping, and also if they keep probability and statistics under control and not let it take over the, uh, the curriculum. So I was asked really what the impact on Maryland would be. And I'm not optimistic that it will have much of an impact at all. Uh, Maryland has never actually expressed much of an interest in college readiness. Um, and so I don't see any reason to change now. Math professors, and, and I know you all have image of mathematicians, and I want to tell you what the image that you should have is. It should be that mathematicians are 13th grade teachers, because that's what we all do for a living. We don't have any seniors. Nobody in seniors in college takes math. A handful of juniors do, and some sophomores. But basically, we teach 13th graders. And that's what we do for a living. So we've petitioned the state over and over to listen to us to no avail. Maryland's Algebra I standards are competitive with the worst in the country. Maryland's HSA is totally irrelevant to college readiness. It just has nothing to do with getting kids ready for college. And actually, I said that back in 1996 or 7. HSA was never meant to be college ready. Please, HSA was a test for ninth graders. No ninth grader is college ready. It is not on the path to college. That's the If problem. you complete the core learning goals, which Turn are a subset of Algebra 1, and then go on to geometry and algebra two, which are clearly outlined in the state curriculum for algebra one, algebra two, and geometry, you are on the college path. Keep, keep going, Steve. Don, you don't have yeah. time to. <laughs> That's I asked you if you really wanted me up here. Yeah. Uh, you left her mic on, it's only fair. So, um, so let's get back to that HSA and it, 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 it would be perfectly okay to have a ninth grade test that covers mathematics that is on the path to college, rather than have it be the focus of Maryland math education that has absolutely nothing to do with college preparation. Arithmetic has college preparation, rates, algebra, there's lots of things that have college preparation. The Maryland HSA is totally irrelevant. When the Able Foundation put out its study in April that pointed this out, uh, basically, uh, the response was not very good. So Nancy Grasmick wrote an op-ed declaring, and I want to quote this, we would never benchmark our expectations on the modest standards currently represented in some aging college placement test. In other words, let me translate, we will ignore what colleges say students have to learn. That's the official attitude at the very top of the Maryland State uh, Education Establishment. They will continue to send kids to college to take remedial courses because they will not pay any attention 
to what we tell them in black and white, what students have to learn in the college placement test. Um, so this despite, so we get ignored. Uh, so I don't see why Maryland is going to suddenly start aiming at it. And remember that over 80% of high school graduates go to college. So if you think your students aren't headed that way, you might be wrong. Uh, because I think I've caused enough trouble, I'm gonna skip uh, <laughs> some of the other things I was going to say and leave it at that. Okay, thank you.